I think we're going to be in a big old bidding war on this one. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV, folks. This is a show where I work with people like you to help you start, build, grow your real estate portfolios. If that sounds appealing, hit the subscribe button. After you check out a lot of our content here on Holton Wise TV, if you want to go deeper, go further, work with my team one-on-one, -on -one, hit us up. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your number. You'll get personalized videos like my man, Carrie. Carrie, you are an out-of-state investor. Uh, this is probably like the 15th video I've done for you, brother. We are working together to build you the most profitable cash flow portfolio you possibly can. And uh, you're looking for like extremely high cash flow. And this particular property, bro, I think this is going to hit the nail on the head. But uh, you're not the only guy who's looking for extremely high cash flow, right? I mean, the more money it makes, the more investors are going to be interested, right? Everybody likes making money, right? If I uh, had a magic machine and anytime you put in a dollar, it spit out $2, well, everybody's going to try to put a dollar into that bad boy, okay? So what we have going on here is a duplex that I originally analyzed for somebody else back in the, a little while ago. Uh, then it got into like a bidding war, went under contract, not with my client. Uh, but long story short, it's now, it's back, it's available. And I've had people after people after people, investor after investor after investor, like, yo, what's up with this one? What's up with this one? What's up with this one? Uh, and based on what you want to carry, working with you as long as I have, I was like, shit, dude, uh, I got to get this opportunity out there to carry. So originally I was thinking like 98.9, we'll go in, see what happens. But, uh, like the listing agent didn't even give us the opportunity to go into like a multiple, uh, multiple bid, like best and highest round, like is, is common. Uh, we just got the notation after we sent them the offer that uh, they, they went with somebody else's offer. So at this point, excuse me, <clears throat> at this point, brother, I think your best bet is to probably uh, just go in with the highest offer that you feel comfortable with, even though I talked about 98.9 because it doesn't look like they're going to go to a best and hi uh, highest and best round. Uh, so you really just need to go out guns blazing with uh, what you think you're the most comfortable with. But you've been doing this uh, for quite a while. You've made a lot of offers. You kind of know what you want. So uh, I'm going to leave you now with the footage of my original analysis, and then you let me know what offer you feel comfortable making to see if you could lock this one up. Let's talk about this house right here. Yeah, uh, you can get over $1,500 a month in rent. And you can do it by spending less than 25k. Now, let's not be insane, okay? I don't mean like you could buy the house for less than $25,000 in totality. That would be insane, okay? But financing, folks. I'm talking about financing, right? The price, 98,900. The address, 2169 West 106. Just hit the market 4 days ago. The man of the hour, Dave, real estate investor from Florida. This is the third video I shot you, bro. First one, liked it quite a bit. Uh, my opinion, lowest quality of all three of the neighborhoods. Second one, highest quality of the neighborhoods, of course, most expensive property. This one fits in the middle as far as neighborhoods, right? Like, it's fringe, dude, like low C, high D, okay? But as we discussed in previous videos, that's where the cash flow is. Now, when you buy real estate, right, the best part is the freaking financing, dude. Like, you put down 25K, you could buy a $100,000 property, right? And that's pretty close to what we got here. This is $98,900. I think you're going to have to spend every bit of that $98,900, bro. I think we're going to have multiple offers, so you're going to want to move quick on this one. We got one tenant already in there, right? They're paying $730 a month, okay? They're the down. They got a 2-1. Then the upstairs, uh, they also went in and they finished off the attic so it's technically a four bed right this is the attic okay i believe in its current condition we could probably rent that for approximately 800 dollars a month let me go back to this one photo hey lenders are you looking to be part of our referral program if so send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com Okay, now, 
You could improve this unit, though, right? Like, if you look at this kitchen, this is clearly an outdated kitchen. I would assume the bathroom looks similar, right? Like, this floor is from, like, the 90s. Just a cheap, crummy little floor. If you want to drop, like, 10 Gs into this unit, I think we can get that rent up to, like, 850, right? Uh, like, the other uh, four-bedroom unit we were talking about and, like, the two videos from this, right? For you, Dave. Um, the rent. Like, I said it'd probably be, like, 850, 875. And its current iteration, this one, 800 because it's dated. You got to give a discount if it's dated. So if you want to drop 10 k uh, we could probably get you up to that 850 range. And I think uh, it would be a smart move to do so because your tenants uh, would probably stay longer because they have a nicer unit, right? Nobody really likes a dated kitchen, right? What sells homes? Kitchens and baths, right? Uh, but you don't have to do that. So just going on. You're not doing any rehab to this thing. We'd be able to pull in fifteen thirty a month, eighteen thousand three hundred sixty a year. I anticipate after your normal operating expenses, you bring it home approximately nine thousand three hundred eighty-seven. That's on average. Uh, some years are going to be better. Some are going to be worse. Like the year you uh, replace the roof, it's going to be like a nine thousand. Well, not nine thousand. Probably like a seven seven thousand dollar hit, right? Uh, but that's why, if you look at your capital expenditure budget, I have you saving nine hundred eighteen dollars every year for those items. You're budgeting for it, right? Like you still get that money. It's coming to you. We're dispersing it to you every month. But I need you to know. Like, so you don't just think, oh, man, I just killed all my cash flow for the year, the year you do your roof. That's not necessarily the case, bro. You just have to know we're going to do a roof, bro. We don't have a brand new roof here. They cost that much money, and they last about 30 years. Just part of the game, okay? Uh, but with all that said, that's your average. That's what's going to average out over the long haul, right? That's what I anticipate. Now, 98.9. Got to pay. Got to pay, dude. There's going to be mad people looking at this property. So you put down 98.9. That means you only got to put down in cash 24725 The bank kicks in the other 74175 That's a 23% cash on cash return, right? Just like I said at the top of the show. You can pick up over $1,500 a month in rent, guys, and you can do it with less than $25,000 out of your pocket. So if you're sitting there like, man, I'd really like to get involved in real estate, uh, but I don't have 100 grand. You don't need 100 grand, right? You only need about 25, and you could do some serious damage. You could pick up some serious cash flow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.